Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. We're going to be jumping over and taking a look at a fiver gig that gives us Astra Pro, Elementor Pro and a one page website designed for us for 10 bucks. Let's take a look. So recently I released a video on the way that Elementor had handled what they considered to be a breach of their terms. In other words, they changed their unlimited plan to the expert plan and cut down from being unlimited activations of the pro plan to a thousand activations. And the argument was that there were people out there abusing this system and effectively just reselling licenses off their unlimited plan. So I've taken a look at Fiverr and we've come across a couple of gigs on there. And what we're going to take a look at today was going to give us one page website, Astra Pro, which you pay for, and Elemental Pro, which obviously you pay for. So we're going to go through the process of buying this gig, getting the seller to actually go through everything, build us this one page website, and then see what we get at the end of it. And see if we actually do get the pro version of both Astra and Elemental for $10. So join me as we take a look at doing this. And if you'd like to check out the video I did recently on this whole debate about the way that Elementor handled the unlimited plan. Check out the video in the corner now. You can take a look at that at the end of this video and see what I'm talking about in a little bit more detail. Let's just jump over to the computer now. Let's go through the process of purchasing this gig on Fiverr. So I've hopped over to Fiverr and we're gonna go through the process now of purchasing this particular gig. So as you can see, I'll create your WordPress website with Elementor Pro and Astro Pro for £8.30, about $10. If we take a look at that, you can see this is what we're going to get. We're going to get a one day delivery, five revisions. We're going to have one page, design customization, content upload, and so on. If we scroll down, we see this is what we're going to get. A simple portfolio site, complete design, landing page, one page. With design customization, content upload, a responsive design with one page, number of products, if we're going down that kind of route, 10, five revisions, and the delivery time is five uh, one day. If we scroll down, <clears throat> excuse me, It'll tell us all the different things. If you get right the way down to the bottom, you can see we've got a couple of answered questions for the FAQ. Do you provide the Elementor Pro plugin? Yes. Do you provide the Astra Pro theme? Again, yes. So for this amount of money, we should be getting the Pro versions of both Astra and Elementor Pro. So let's go through and purchase this and we'll see what we get. So let's come back up. Let's say we want to purchase this gig. So we're going to say, yep, yeah, we're going to go for the basic one. We'll continue on there. So we can go through now, do we want to add extras like e-commerce functionality, additional plugins installed and so on? We're going to say, no, we don't want to do that. Let's just double check and say view what's included. So one day delivery, one page, design customization, content upload, responsive design, 10 products and five revisions. So let's hit order now. Once you've done that, we're going to go through and confirm and pay. So I'm going to go through quickly and pay for this and then we'll jump back in and we'll take a look at where we go from there. So there we go. The order has now been placed. I just got to go through, give them access to the hosting and the WordPress that I've got set up. Then I can see what they're going to come back with. And then at the end of it, we're going to sort of go through and have a chat about the moral implications and what you think and what I think of Fiverr gigs for this kind of low amount of money where you are effectively getting a licensed version of Astra and of Elementor Pro. Anyway, I'm going to go through the process of providing this information and go through the whole process of getting this website done. Okay, so there's the order placed on Fiverr. I've contacted the seller and sent over the relevant access to let them get into the admin of the WordPress website. So now we've got to wait for them to come back to us to say what they need from us. I'll then supply the content, the images and so on. Tell them the kind of topic that I want the page to be about. And then we'll wait and see when they come back to us, hopefully tomorrow or maybe the day after, depending upon their timescale. Um, and then I can come back to you and say, did we get Elemental Pro? Did we get access, access to Astro Pro? If we did, we can have that discussion about what we feel about the way this is done on Fiverr and the moral implications of basically selling for next to nothing with these pro licenses in place. So now the order's been placed. I've had a little bit of correspondence back and forth. And as you can see on screen, I basically laid out what I'm looking for. Now, I wasn't too bothered with the design in this particular example. It's not about the design. It's more a case of finding out, do we actually get a full legitimate copy, fully licensed of Astra Pro and Elemental Pro as advertised on this Fiverr listing? So anyway, what I wanted to do was find out how he's going to go about doing it and then supply the information. So send him over saying, I just want a simple landing page. It's one page. It's about an ebook that I've written. 
I want to use particular colors on there, where I want to use a specific image and so on. So I sent that over and a little bit of correspondence back and forth. And then we got the initial design. Like I say, I'm not too bothered about the design, but I'm going to show you anyway, just so you can get some idea of someone that's saying that they are a professional that have worked with over 160 companies, etc., 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 all bigging up what they do. And then this is what they send over. So here we go in all its glory. If we scroll down, this is kind of what I was supplied. Okay, so I didn't supply a huge amount of information. It was literally meant to be a simple landing page. I specifically asked for the front cover to be at the top. And if we come back over to my Fiverr listing, you can see that we've got, as long as the front cover is displayed at the top, at least one of the open page images is used. Use what fits into the design of the remaining images. As you can see, he didn't pay any attention to that. He literally just put the open pages at the top and then proceeded to just pop in some of the other pages below. So not a great start. So basically I went back to him and said, you know, uh, not really what I'm looking for. So I then supplied him with an example and said, this is kind of what I'm looking for. Something along the lines of this to give you an idea of what we're talking about. So sending over the basic design that I was looking for, like I say, this was just an example, which I thought was a typical kind of landing page, probably more information that I've supplied, but it's a good idea to see what I was talking about. And what we got back was basically something fairly close, even though I said I wanted to use the green color that's been used on the spine. As you can see, that's not necessarily the case. If we scroll down, we've then got again, different color green to what I asked for. Some very, very badly spaced out information, but you know, uh, I've seen worse. Uh, yeah, then we've got this information and for some reason a very bright red border around this image. And then he's just basically taken the signature from that uh, demonstration site, as you can see here, and just slapped that in there and made it that, a load bigger. And basically also took all the text from there as well. So, okay, like I say, not the end of the world. We basically ended up with uh, something close to what I'd requested, but the amount of money I paid for it, I can't really say too much about it. And I could have gone back for more revisions and forced my hand on it, but I kind of felt like that wasn't the focus of this. It's more about that software and that claim to be getting that software. So what did we actually get? Well, let's just log into the, the dashboard and I'm gonna show you over the two or three days that I was working with this particular individual, how things changed and things that I noticed and things that I sort of flagged up and how they were changed and, and in what way they changed them. So one of the first things I flagged up was it about supposedly having Astro Pro installed, at which point he came back and said, Astro Pro is installed. You can do it through Elementor, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But if you logged in and you took a look at the customizer section, you can see it says more options are available in Astro Pro, which obviously means that Astro Pro hasn't been installed. The second red flag and something unfortunately I didn't screen grab, but if I can find it, I'll insert it here now, was the fact that the theme was actually showing up as being a nulled copy of Astra. Now, if you don't know what a nulled copy is, typically when you have a plugin that has to have a serial number inserted into it, that will kind of connect back to the, the servers of the company that owns it, develops it, creates it, whatever, checks that serial number and confirms that it's legitimate, and then it'll activate it on the site that you are actually using it on. A nulled version kind of strips that functionality out. So you get a snapshot of what that theme or software or plugin or whatever it was that you've got a nulled copy of, and you effectively have it at that point in time. You can't update it in the future. It's not legitimate. It doesn't have any kind of support or anything to go with it. So that's the first thing I saw. And like I say, if I can find the screenshot of that, I will drop that in here so you can see that. Now, once I sort of went back in and made some sort of comments, I didn't say anything about the null thing, but I went back in and said a little bit more about, well, this isn't Astro Pro. It came back and activated Astro Pro and gave me this to look at. Now, he didn't obviously say too much about this, but I'm pretty sure if you look at it, you can see a couple of discrepancies. First thing is Astra Pro. There is no Astra Pro theme. Astra is Astra full stop. The Pro is a plugin that's installed that gives you extra functionality inside the theme itself. But it's not called Astra Pro, depending on what version you have on there, it'll only ever say Astra. The next thing you can see is version 999.78. 
At the time of shooting this video, the latest version was 1.85. The nulled version was 1.55, so a couple of months old. Which obviously, like I say, I didn't specify the null thing, but I did say it was showing as an old, out of date, and there's a warning saying it wasn't an in-date sort of version. So he updated that. So you've got Astro Pro, which isn't legit. Version 999, which is way above what's currently out there. And also Brainstorm dash F space Ors. So you can see there's a couple of things that are, if you know what you're looking for, you can see these and they flag up quite quickly. So there's another thing that obviously is a little bit iffy about this. Now, if we log into the site that's been delivered, you can see we currently now, after a little bit of to and fro, have three plugins installed. Forget the classic editor that was installed at the beginning of it. Elemental, Elemental Pro and Astro Pro. If we jump over to the settings of Astro Pro, we can see we do actually have all the options. It does say the license is active, but I will be brutally honest here. I don't have any proof of this, but I'm pretty certain that this nulled version is going to say that it's active. Whether it actually is version 1.85, I really have no idea. Maybe the guys from Brainstorm Force could come back and Maybe sort of come back and say how you could find out which version is actually installed if there's a way of finding out. But as I say, I honestly don't think this is a full legitimate copy based upon that theme information, the version, the weird way it's been written out and so on and so forth. However, all the features do work, which is what you would kind of expect from a nulled version. And if we jump over into Elementor and we take a look at the license in there, it says status is active. If we click on my account, it's probably going to log me into my own personal account, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. But even if it didn't, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it. The frightening thing about this is, though, because I've paid for this, and even if this is a legitimate licensed copy of Elementor Pro linked through to this individual's account, if you log into your own Elementor account, you can easily go in there and you can deactivate sites remotely. So you can say, I want to wipe that one out. Then this connection to this particular site is no longer viable. Now for me, it makes no difference. It cost me $10, $10, $10, whatever you want to say. It was an experiment. But if you paid someone $100, $250, and they'd done the same kind of thing, they don't give you that license of your own, that own copy of it, you're kind of stuck. If something happens and they want to delete it, which with a thousand copies of their license now, they might well just carry on and do that. What kind of comeback do you have? Not a lot. You're talking about someone that's on Fiverr that you really have no link to, no real recourse if anything goes wrong. So there we go. That's my little roundup piece on working with Fiverr. Did we get what we paid for? I think it's pretty safe to say we didn't when it comes to Astro Pro. I think we ended up with a slightly non-legit version of that. When it comes to Elementor Pro, let's just say I'm a little dubious, but looking at it, taking off face value, it could well be a fully licensed version of Pro. However, because it's tied to someone else's account, we have no control over when that gets deactivated and we lose access to all those features. Am I bothered? Not really, because this was more of an experiment and I really, really priced it as a low value kind of item just basing it upon what the individual had posted saying they were going to supply as part of this particular deal. Well, if you've had any experiences with Fiverr, good or bad, or you've come across anything very similar to this, let us know in the comment section below. Let's get that conversation started and find out good and bad experiences when working with Fiverr gigs. I'd love to get your feedback so we can all share and benefit. As always, all the applicable links are in the description below, so if you want to check out anything we cover on the channel, you can check it out there. If you want to learn more about WordPress, consider clicking on the links you can see in the corner now and also on the end screen. As always, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.